God steal your glory. Because see, my God said that he raising up a remnant of believers that would tell the devil you a liar and the truth ain't in you. I'm walking in my power and authority of Christ Jesus and tell the devil you a liar. You will not steal my joy. You will not take my mind. You will not mess up my day. Because God gave me authority. When he said let that be like what happened? That came. That because he raising up a people that's going to make a look at the situation where it looks like it's darkness in your life. You won't be able to speak lightness into it. You won't be able to say money coming to me. Come on, my promotion coming to me. God will make a way out of no way for me. See, God is out looking for some people that will open up their mouth. That even if you ain't even set up for a promotion. God said, I'm going to step in and make a promotion for you. Why? Because you will open up your mouth and you see it beyond that false perception. Well, they say I can't get no car. They say I can't get no house. Devil, you a liar. How dare you tell me what I can't get? My daddy owns everything. He told me it's mine and it's mine. Every time I go to a place, God, I'm thanking you, Lord God, that the doors are already open. You already took the people who I need to talk to. You already opened up the door for me to walk through. And I'm walking through the door. I see myself in the car. I see myself riding. I see myself that it's the right payment that I need. Everything that I need is already done. Why? Because I'm standing on this perception. See, that's what the enemy want to do. He want to stop us. Oh, your credit ain't good enough. Girl, you ain't got no money. Your credit messed up. That's what you say. But my God can get into the credit system. He can get into that computer and call that person and don't even see what my credit is. Only thing that they see is approval. Every time I go, God, before I go there, I already send the word approval. So when I go there, I already know that it's already made ahead of me. It's already done. See, we got to understand that we can't be at a place that even though the enemy say deny, you bump the system. Come here, Pastor Rick. He represents the system. God done told me that I can get a house. But every time I go to the bank, they say, I want you to put all your weight. Don't let me move you. Okay? He represents the bank. But I know what God told me. So when I go to the bank, and the bank say, well, no, ain't nothing we can do for you because your credit score is too low. And I said, you know what, devil, you's a lie. Now, here I am. What, 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 what did that represent? That represent me going into prayer and telling that devil, you's a lie. Because I'm going to get a house. It may not be with this bank, but I'm going to go to another bank. I go to the other bank and they say, you know what? I told them I go ahead and apply. And they say, you know what, ma'am, your credit's go too low. Oh, devil, you's a liar. Bump the system again. Because I'm going to make sure why. Because I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. Because I know that my prayer do damage. Because the Bible said when two or three are got together in his name, that he'll be in the midst. So when I go to the next bank and I tell them I want to apply, you know, and for the house, and they say, you know what? You just made it. Or where your credit score at? Well, we can't approve you. Why? Even though I had to go through two denials, but I kept going. See, that's the problem. We just have somebody tell us no the first time we want to stop. You gotta keep on trucking. And 